Today we're going to talk about port mirroring. And we talk about mirroring, we better do it on the light board. So this is my right hand, but it looks like it's my left hand. So now you know the magic of the light board. So you just learned something. We don't have to do the question. That's your, your fact of the day. All right, that's probably not what you're here for. So let's do the question. In order to get this question right, you really have to understand two things. The first is what port mirroring is, and the second is the difference between the devices. But let's start with number one, port mirroring. So it's called mirroring because we're creating a copy of the traffic and we're going to send it to another device. So what happens is you create a duplicate of your network traffic, and again, you send it to another device. Now, why would you ever want to do that? That sounds kind of counterintuitive for security. If we're making a copy of our traffic, aren't we just exposing it? Well, the answer is we want to inspect that traffic. We want to analyze that traffic. So in network communications and network security, oftentimes we have to analyze traffic to do you know, uh, communication troubleshooting. We look at things like response time. We look at uh, the actual packets to sort of see what's going on. So again, it's a way for us to analyze and inspect traffic in a very detailed way. So how it works is you have you know, a host and say that host is communicating with whatever, a server. And the host is going to communicate with that server through a network device. So traffic from that host, again, goes through the network device to the server. So what we're saying here in port mirroring is we want to actually inspect that traffic. So what we do is we say, okay, every time that the host communicates with the server, we want to inspect that traffic. So on this device right here, we're going to enable port mirroring and a copy of the traffic is going to be sent to a different device. For example, a protocol analyzer. So again, we can inspect the traffic. So again, traffic comes from the workstation and then it gets sent to the server, but a copy of it is sent to another device. And vice versa, every time the server communicates back with the workstation, a copy of the traffic gets sent to the other device and then uh, mirrored back to the workstation, all right? So the question is, that's port mirroring, but on what device does this actually happen? All right, so now we can take a look at our answer choices. So let's eliminate a few right off the bat. So we know it's not a DMZ because that's more of a zone or topology. And a hypervisor, that's something that's actually used in virtualization. So again, not network devices. So now we're left between a switch and a hub. Did somebody say port mirroring? I love port mirroring. Not now, I'm literally in the middle of a video. Hey, you look really nice today. Thank you. <laughs> you do too. Thank you. <laughs> Stop it. Hey, I think I can help with the whole hub switch thing. All right, fine. Go ahead. You do hub, I'll do switch. All right. Cool. So a hub is basically a non-intelligent device that is easy to connect hosts. And we have to remember about a hub is all data at all ports at all times. So what that actually means is if we have a host A that wants to communicate with host C, well, guess what? When this traffic goes through the hub, everybody connected is going to get it. So that includes B, that includes D, and obviously C as well. So all data at all ports at all times. So it's almost like a mini sort of little broadcast zone. All right, there you go. That's a hub. Nailed it. You're welcome. All right, I'm out of here. See ya. See ya. Bye-bye. Thank you. So that was a hub. Now let's talk about a switch. So a switch, by contrast, is a little more intelligent so since it's more intelligent, it can make sure that traffic only destined for one host actually gets there. So what I mean by that is we have multiple hosts plugged in to one switch. And if A wants to communicate with C, well, guess what? When it goes through the switch, the traffic only goes to C. It doesn't go to B or D. How does that happen? A switch can filter based on MAC address. So it can say, okay, this traffic is, is destined for this specific host and nobody else, right? It's like a traffic cop. Traffic comes in, okay, you go that way and you're only going to that specific host uh, or you go that way to that specific host. So again, 
traffic from A destined for C only goes to C and nobody else. So that's really the answer to our question right there, understanding the difference between a hub and a switch. Because a hub, as Cam, my long last brother, just explained, um, a hub, all data goes out, all ports at all times. So that's really you know, port mirroring right there by default. But with a switch, we don't have that feature. So we need to enable port mirroring on a switch to ensure we can actually get a copy of that traffic to other hosts or other devices. A very special thank you to our very special guest who helped us understand port mirroring. And the thing to think about is I think a lot of these certification exams uh, incorrectly assume that everybody comes in with a baseline understanding of network communications, right? They think everybody knows what a hub, a switch, a router is and how it actually all works. But it's important for you to understand it so you can understand the security implication. But not everybody comes in with that background or that knowledge. So we make sure in our courses that we take the time to actually explain those network communication basics so you have that knowledge so then you can apply it when it comes to security. So I hope you found this helpful. We'll see you next week on Quidna, and we'll see you in class.